Hey folks, Trace Monk here. Playing some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Commonwealth, and uh, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought it was trying to get to 1821 if we keep going to war like this and slowing things down. But, um, I want to make this not just a boring fast forward snooze fest. So, we will at least be trying to accomplish some of our earlier goals. Um, as long as we can still proclaim a guarantee on the Ottomans, we probably won't do um, anything else with them. I believe Ming is actually still in first place. Yes, Ming is in first place, but we are catching them. We will surpass them. Ming did not explode, and in fact their name is larger than ours. That may be because they have a larger contiguous border than us. But, you know, whatever. We're going to try to make the smallest Russia we can possible here in a little while. That is, that's our next goal. We can handle Sabir and all that on our own, I'm pretty sure. Sabir, Kazan, Kashmir and Muscovy and Kiva. I'm pretty sure that our 241,000 troops is more than they have in total. Probably by double or more. Just if I had to guess. Go, go, Tuscany. Right, that is, yeah, that is all Tuscany there. No, 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 no. That's like half Tuscany, half France. Still, go, go, Tuscany. And hey, look, Syria is dropping troops off. So is Moldavia. Good little vassals. Good little vassals, go, go, go. Um, we are not making a lot of money with that. Uh, you guys are going to protect the North Sea. And let's see how our trade power goes there. So we're looking at that Norway, all that Nor all that Norwegian stuff. I mean, that's ours. We took over. We we vassalized Norway and annexed them a long time ago. So we do actually have a significant chunk of the provincial trade power. We might try to keep Lothian for ourselves so that Scotland does not have the other center of trade in the North Sea node. Um, we'll have to be careful about that one, but eh, they'll probably be okay with it. We can't designate them as a march because I forgot to before we went to war. Our army is still in transit. Nope. Brandenburg declared war on Austria. That happens. No, we will take the points and convert another province. Am I seriously bleeding manpower because I'm running this many dudes around at once? Probably. You guys just split up. You know what? They can handle like all of this. At some point, Moldavia will, you know burn something up over here and a lot of this will flip back to us probably in fact if we look at this there's a whole lot of like spanish land over here um yeah the problem right now is that we can't get past this fort okay so they're waiting on them to break through that good news is our allies war enthusiasm should probably never ever drop on any of this because we so vastly vastly outnumber them that they probably won't even win a single battle I say that and their Portugal and Spain are moving 73,000 troops around over here in the mountains of Navarra oh don't do that 
Damn it, stop having noble rebels. Also, stop getting sieged down, Portugal. Or not Portugal, Pretzel. Where are you going? You're going to Marajo. Go to Marajo. Where are my little pretzel pretzillion troops? The answer is nowhere to be found. I don't care about your noble rebels. Columbia is having to deal with some guys over here, but they should, it looks like, actually be able to handle that. Well, not if they're attacking into mountains or hills. What is that? That's mountains? That was kind of a mistake, man. I don't know where you're going. One of our generals died. That sucks. Take that fort, Tuscany. Take it. The sword is stronger than the book. Really? Does that even affect our rebels at all? No. Oh, we have we have taken a colony, which is probably one of the reasons why our income is down right now. <laughs> this is apparently a Spanish or no no a uh, Spanish Brazilian colony over here. This is something that you will not be able to get away with as readily in the Cossacks because it tracks war contribution and yeah sure Munster I don't know which part of our massive tracts of land you're after probably these right here because I bet that you are at war with lots of people. We might also, if we really need something to distract ourselves, go after, um... Oh, come on, guys! Nobody's gonna reinforce that battle? Uh, yeah, you reinforce, like, days too late. Thanks. You know what, actually? Hey. 63,000 dudes. Get together. Merge, yeah. Merge, take this guy. Go there. No? Okay, well, go to... Go to Languedoc. And you're gonna, like, beeline straight for their capital once that fort in, Pyre in the Pyrenees is down. Not yet. Okay, how are things going over here? Alright, go that way. Kick them out of Grajau. I actually kick them out of Maranhau. Because that's the war goal, damn it. Just like fleeing, they're like, get us out of here. Where are we? We actually made it to Languedoc. Okay. That was actually, I think, that last message I just moved through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tuscany will actually flip everything of theirs to us once we get some sort of siege done. Go straight for the capital. I 
actually not worried about hostile siege of oh yeah don't care oh no be like no no we didn't lose anything the French fleet beat them back I have a feeling they are well is that the Portuguese Navy that is the Portuguese Navy mostly yeah yeah pretty much entirely that is the Portuguese Navy so if I had guessed they're going for their nearest nearest point which is over here just if I had to guess what are we actually doing in terms of trade power over here? That brought us up to like 56%. Okay, well, we, we need to build, you know, more of these. Reinforce that battle and then move on to Madrid. Come on, kill them. There we go. Surprisingly few losses on both sides in that. was actually a small Tuscan stack. A little surprised at that. Yeah, blockading that Portuguese Navy in so that they can't attack our trade fleet anymore. Uh-oh, Ming has internal conflicts. Will we have a late game Ming explosion? See, they're like, flip! All this stuff that's this far down is just like, flip it to, flip it to the, uh, flip it to the Commonwealth. Mostly we're over here to humiliate you, Spain. Ow. Where are you going? You're going there? Decided to go over there. Okay, whatever. And back over there. Okay, so we took out their capital. Uh, Portugal actually took the best parts of Cape. Does this, does any of this trade actually make it up to the North Sea? Or to the English Channel? Yes, yes it does. Okay. The Ivory Coast definitely takes a bunch of stuff from English Channel. We might see if we can take stuff down here. I mean, most of this stuff isn't ours at all. Um, this is not land I think that ever was a colony. I think this has actually been in at the start of the game, or at least that is. Right, they haven't like taken expansion or anything like that, no. So that is all land that's been there for a while. That. Slave trade with Europeans. Yeah, we need to take some land down there just so that maybe we can send a navy down that way. That, that's Britain's. Yeah, they've got. Britain took Sao Tome. 
Spain has Fernando Poe. Okay, where do we want to go? We got Fort there, Fort there, and Fort there, and Fort there. What forts could we take? Go to no, we can't go to Granada. Also, can't go to Cadiz. I guess we'll go over to Braganza over here. Hungary no longer considers Tuscany a rival. If it weren't for the fact that we'd have to go beat up France, I'd say we could help Tuscany form Italy. But... Yeah, we'd have to beat up France for that, make them cough up uh, Savoy and Milan's territory and maybe a bit of Provence. I'm not really sure here. Stop standing on top of me! Seriously, stop it! Stop it, Moldavia. Go somewhere else. recovery speed. Let's toss our hat in a ring for Pope. That will get it. Um, <laughs> yearly legitimacy. Levy a church tax. We are actually like really even in terms of what impacts things for us. We actually should, like, really focus on if we've got any, like, Sunni land on converting that because we have much less tolerance of heathens than we do of heretics. Um, outrages. Tukla gets less missionary strength. Okay, I don't care. Commonwealth's opinion of Venice changed by minus 25. Okay. I don't care what Venice thinks about me. I'll go beat them up whenever I want to. Just like two more Diplotech levels. No, three more Diplotech levels. Which we will hopefully be able to do soon enough. Um, we can annex them starting in 1676 for 1104 Diplo power. Holy crap. Anyway, this war is going very, very splendidly. Oh, Portuguese Mexico entered into a military alliance with Caribas. Uh-oh. You know what that means? We go over here. Portuguese Mexico. Hey, man. What's your liberty desire? 65%. And you're at 66%. They want independence. I'm not really sure I want to let them help 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 let them have independence. Okay. You know what? That means I think we're starting to get boats over here. Yep, they're starting to be built. Starting to be built, and they are arriving. Go patrol North Sea. So that we can get more than that percentage. We also apparently need to go blow up Britain's trade fleet again. Um, hey you, you've got like a bunch of cores, right? Cores and some claims. Cool. Um, what's your total annexation cost? Two hundred twenty-seven percent. Yeah, we can't get we can't get that much of you. 
good news is is that I think our AE is uh, pretty well contained. Yeah, pretty much only Brandenburg and Brabant dislike us because of it. Uh, Great Britain doesn't like us much either, but who cares about Great Britain? When's our truce up with them? 1972? Yeah, we got like two years. We fine. Um, what about our claims here? Ooh, okay. That's only valid till 1672. That's only valid till 1672. That's valid till 1676. So we at least have some claims that are. Uh, let's go with. Derbyshire. They're actually almost at the point where if we could vassalize them already, we could bump Finland's... We could bump Finland up there. Yeah, we'll beat up Spain, beat up Great Britain, and then go free Muscovy and guarantee their independence. But that'll have to be next time. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.